We can dismiss the abomination, can't we? I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure you can. Let's see. Uh, you can, but I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to don't either. Wanna do that. Uh, let's see. Do we have any animals nearby? All right, there are no animals nearby. Okay, so I'm going to get over here. This is going to use four of our water. I hope this is an oasis. Uh, I'm going to mount up on this. Wait. I'm going to mount up on this donkey here. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, that's the thing that I should point out. Um, <laughs> yes, welcome back, everyone. Um, but I just did something from a design perspective that might be interesting. Uh, so while I was walking, I clicked mount on the donkey, and mm -hmm. your character doesn't do it. But as soon as I hit uh, cancel travel, it immediately performs all of my ah. queued up actions. So if I were to sit there and click, like, the food button, like, three or four times while we were moving, we wouldn't use it when we were moving. But as soon as we stopped, hmm. they'd immediately eat four food. You know, I don't know if I agree with that design-wise. I think it's actually, uh, I think it's a bug, but, I mean, the game's in alpha, so. I mean, well, okay, consider, if, if it is a bug, I think it was probably a workaround to an actual bug. Um, fuck. Alright, do I let the zombie eat Miss Harlow? Well, we don't need her. Which one is she? She's the one that I'm riding right now. Uh oh. You think he could have picked the other one, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm... I'm, go I'm gonna let it happen. Yeah. I'm gonna let it we'll happen. We'll get another donkey. All right. It's alright. We'll get another donkey. I left it to the two of them to sort out their argument. <laughs> the horrible screams echoed in my head long after they had gone silent. Sleep came heavy that night, and the next morning, Ms. Harlow was gone. I love that they describe it as an argument. Well, I think it's I think it's just the stock thing for when two NPCs argue, and in this case, one of those NPCs happened to be a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's examine the tomb. God, I love this little like the pixel art in this is so good. It it really it's is so good. good. All right, the tip of the pyramid had been completely enveloped by the sand. It must have been some kind. It must have been. Come on, guys. It must have been some kind of grave built by a long forgotten civilization. A small opening led into the darkness. Let's do it. We stumbled into the pyramid. It seemed to be very old and had remained untouched for a long time. There was a stone sarcophagus in the center of the small chamber. I'm gonna open it. Dust filled the air as we pushed the heavy cover off the sarcophagus. I'm gonna loot it. Oh, wow. There's a there's a mummy and a golden llama inside. <laughs> I mean, the mummy was expected for sure. Yeah, whatever. Uh, do There is a cave down there that I think I'm gonna head for next, uh, so I'm gonna keep the torches. I am gonna ditch the rope because that is gonna be totally worthless. And yeah. It, was, it only, as there was only eight of it, it only cost me 16. Uh, which is fine. Now here's hoping that... There's water in that cave? Uh, or meat. Oh yeah, or that abomination is gonna... I might just have to kill the abomination, which is fine. Alright, let's yeah. light the torch. Well, <laughs> the problem with killing the abomination ah, is, is the point. prehistoric paintings. Uh, Wait, that depicted a route to an isolated region many miles away. Oh, good. Okay, so um, this actually isn't what I thought it was. This isn't the, the thing that the artist can paint. This is actually, uh, this opened up the prehistoric area, so our fourth uh, expedition will be in dinosaur land. I mean, I'm sure if you had the artist, you could still paint it. Um, it's possible. It, it might have a dual purpose, in which case I actually would really, I think that would have been okay, pretty so well we'll designed. Trying to get up here, I need 37. All right, I'm going to get up to this. Uh, is that 130? I need 137. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you don't have any water. Right. So we're probably Yeah, deserts gonna, are uh, rough. They are when you run out of water and don't know where the oasis is. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Ah, wait, a cave. All right, so that's that's a cave. Yeah, I'm if gonna, we can even make it there. Oh, I can. I, I, I can. <laughs> I can make it. Upgrade you. There we go. I'm going to get over here. That's 46... There we go. I, I will say, Why what this is our, what, third expedition? Yeah. So, the difficulty curve, I mean, obviously we had the choice to go to the desert or go to another yes. uh, grassland. And deserts tend to be really, really difficult. Um, but the difficulty curve jumps tremendously. And I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing, um, because the game is inherently very difficult. Um, but... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think necessarily it would have been good to postpone introducing things like deserts. Oh, we should get meat. Kill the hyena. There we go. I'm going to attack that hyena. Oh, there's three of them. Good. All right. Uh, so here is the interesting thing about bullets. You ready? Here we go. All right, so, wow. Dang. Hello. Dang. Okay, so first off, uh, hooves. Most animals that you're riding can't combo with things. I think the raptor might be able to, but I could be wrong about that. The raptor's just the, it's the best mountain in the game. It's the best. It, it really it is. It takes the longest to come online, but it's the best. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to hoof him. I'm going to... Let's see, he's got four health left. I'm going to deal exactly four. Nice. I'm going to... 
shotgun blast him? Because there's oh, two that would have been right? good if we had done that first, actually. Oh, Deals three to both of them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and... Well, actually, there's no eyes, so I'm not going to do that yet. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and right now, I'm going to use a bullet. Bam. That's how bullets work. And since all sides of the bullet dice are an attack, it... Uh, I think. Yeah, here we go. I can yeah. actually kill both of them because I can play the other bullet oh, and then nice. I can do that and chain off another three damage. One of my favorite traits in this game is uh, the, the the bullet, bullet hoarder. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you just like find randomly bullets. find yeah. bullets. Really useful if you're going for a uh, for for a, a murder party. I've I've in one of my my run throughs of this, I, I ended up having now. I think forty bullets at one point. Jesus, forty <laughs> bullets! <laughs> I've never even heard of that. And uh, I was right. murdering everything. Are it was we out of, we're out of chocolate. We, we are, are out of stuff. Yes, we are. We are out of everything. Okay. I have noticed that Wait, even if you run out of sanity, yeah. you can still travel for a little while. You can. And then it like one day... You just lose it. You just lose it. Oh, <laughs> another panther. Here we go. Uh, as soon as that comes around the corner, I'm going to go ahead and stop resting and just go murder that thing. Uh, James Sterling had a conversation. Oh, he's starting to get paranoid. Shit. Uh, the longer you rest at places that you can rest in the in the wilderness, the more crazy your people get. Oh. The abomination can't actually acquire any further negative traits other than cannibal, and that's a pretty bad one. Yeah, um, yeah. But other people can get the cannibal trait. I've seen it happen. I'm up to 80. All right, I'm going to leave. Uh, I have a region point, but I can't actually give it to anybody yet. The <laughs> because the abomination... you don't have any people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to attack that thing. Even though it's on the other side of a mountain, I'm still going to attack it. Uh, I mean, you know, two minor details. Let's see here. All right, so this this is multi-attack. I'm nice. gonna blast him. Blast him. Uh, I'll give this guy a four, and then I'm going to throw a bullet in there, and I'll give this guy a three. Nice. Then I'm going to try with my... There we go. I'm going to try with my last roll to get a lookout, which... Ah. Two defense, yeah. Uh, knowing the combinations, knowing what's possible is really, really important. Um, the way that the animal dice work is one die is assigned to one character, and mm -hmm. another die is assigned to another one. Uh, that applies to combinations. So, mm -hmm. like, if you're fighting a bunch of hyenas who each have two shitty dice each, uh, and there's three of them there, they're going to roll three different attacks against three party members. Um... So here we go, uh, next combat round. I have this and I have this. That's an aimed shot that's gonna deal four damage and then I just have to deal three. There we go, done. All right, nice. We strip what was useful from the dead and that is to say that is their skin, meat, and teeth. I'm gonna take it all. Take it all. All the good stuff. Yeah, and hopefully the abomination won't eat my other donkey. Hopefully. Well, you have meat now, so. I do, I do have meat now. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Am I out? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm not even, I'm not yeah, even gonna do the rest. Yeah, you might as well. Yep, done. Done there. That ended up donezo. Surprisingly <laughs> well. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just squeak by. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. I have a lot of uh, inventory, so I'm actually quite pleased with the way that went. Yeah, and now the the next expedition is the one that's going to be particularly oh, tough. Here because, we go. Here we uh, go. They start introducing multiple. Um, what would you call it? You have to take multiple steps before you can even find the pyramid. Yeah, there's the there's the golden seals you've got yeah. to unlock. And if you unlock all the seals, the game is kind enough to like show you the location. We actually yeah. do have a choice on perks here uh, because none of them are very good. Um, we have Navigator, which increases the gain compass accuracy. Now, the reason I haven't been using my compass... Oh, yeah, the, we never did the, show that. The tutorial will tell you that it's one of the most important things about the game. But the tutorial is lying to you. Um, the game wants you to rely on your compass because the compass is super unreliable. First off, it swings around wildly in all directions. So really, it's only useful until after uh, after you get Navigator. Uh, the problem becomes... Or unless you've been wandering for more than, I think, about 100 days. Does it really? I, I, I've never actually... Oh, it does get to 100% accuracy. Does it really? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad for that. But that being said, uh, there are magnetic mountains in the game. And a magnetic mountain is basically just... It ruins you. It ruins you if you if you walk within about i think like something like 20 hexes of it uh the compass will start pointing towards it yeah i think if it's you're re reasonably yeah. on screen then you're it, you're going to be affected yeah. by uh, it. it's just it's it's not a good thing to rely on your compass so if you're watching this video find other ways to be clever with the game i i will say i think that <clears throat> considerably um i would say that's actually a design flaw because i think yeah. they did intend the compass to be useful yeah i think with the addition of the magnetic mountains um that kind of broke that design yeah. it's a it's a really good idea and uh for the first like 10 plays playthroughs that I did, uh, I died a lot because I was using the compass to try and find my way out. Uh, yeah, I found out why I was dying. It's because of those fucking magnetic mountains. 
Uh, the other two perks are Lone Survivor, which is completely worthless. Survive a little longer when all alone. If you are alone... You're, uh, you're already dead. You're already dead, or you've already lost, and you're going to end up in fifth, which is fine. You still get the completed, but it's just not very good. Yeah. The last one is Strong Mind, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that one. Yeah, I'd say of those three, that was probably the most useful. Yeah. I mean, especially uh, if we're going in desert again. So. Go. All right. Oh, no. We're all the way down at the bottom, guys. What are we going to do? I guess we'll just sell the hide, sell the hide, sell the hide. I guess I'll gift the llama. We'll gift the mummy. And then we're at 125 funds, so I'm just going to gift all these teeth. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a decent bit from those panther and panther I'll sell hides, both so. the panther hides. So we're up to 205 funds and 600 fame. We're sitting pretty right here. I've actually found that every Whoa. single time... Yep. Hobbs. Okay. I've, I've actually come to find that every time I've I've completed all of the um, the expeditions in this game, I'm always in first because yeah. the loot just always carries you yep. through. It really, really does. Unless you get money crazy. Oh, guess, or you but... have to take the hot air balloon home because then you can only take. Uh, oh yeah, that ruins two you. things plus or minus one per party member beyond the first. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, so I think in this one we had the choice of either going to the untouched grasslands, which is easy mode and not very rewarding. Mm -hmm. uh, we could do the strange gra grasslands again. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Easy mode, not very rewarding. We could do the Tiki Taka Desert, uh, which is a desert, or we could do the Cursed Water Temple's Grasslands. Which is what we unlocked. We from... absolutely are doing oh, this. Without I've never doubt. been here. Uh, this is, see, this is the thing that's interesting to me. I've completed the game 10 times and failed at it probably 50, mm -hmm. and I've never encountered two whole elements of the game that we've done, and this is supposedly this computer's first playthrough. Yeah, yeah. The game has an astonishing amount of depth that it never even bothers to tell you about. It just relies on you discovering it. Yep. yep. That's why I think this is a good game. So, this is the end of the episode, um, so we'll, we'll dive into this crazy new land in the uh, next one. Alright, see you guys in the archives. Oh yeah, we didn't get the widow, or the, 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 the lost husband. Oh well. He probably he's fine right? every well, I think every time we find him he's like I, I didn't want to go back <laughs> no that's the uh, that's the deserter oh that's right Con I wish there was a way you could convince him to come back with you to so you didn't have to kill him every time